A dramatic development following the mysterious death of a former Russian spy. An urgent police search of his home is underway. They're looking for polonium-210, a potentially deadly radioactive substance. If that polonium-210 is ingested into the body via, uh, by via ingestion, eating it, or via inhalation, or perhaps via a wound, then it will rapidly track through the body and uh, goes to most organs within the body. And if the dose uh, were to be sufficiently high, one would expect to see tissue damage characteristic of radiation. Alexander Litvinenko knew he was dying when he wrote this statement. For him, the last chance to point the finger. You may succeed in silencing one man, but the howl of protest from around the world will reverberate, Mr. Putin, in your ears for the rest of your life. May God forgive you for what you have done, not only to me, but to beloved Russia and its people. Signed by Alexander Litvinenko on November 21, 2006. The former Kremlin agent belonged to one of the world's most secretive organizations, but his grieving family say his death is no mystery. I, a terrible thing has happened yesterday. My son, my son died yesterday and he was killed by a little tiny nuclear bomb. It was so little, so small that you couldn't see it. Mr. Litvinenko's last movements may explain his death. He met two men at a central London hotel on November the 1st. He knew one, not the other. Traces of radioactive material has been found here. Later, he met an Italian investigator at a West End sushi restaurant. And traces of polonium-210 have been found here, too. It's believed he was handed a hit list that had his name on it. It was on this day that he fell ill and he was admitted to Barnet General Hospital but his condition deteriorated. 16 days later, he was transferred to specialist care at University College Hospital, this time under armed guard. The amount required is really very small, so it could be put in a pill, it could be tipped into his glass of wine, um, it could have been tipped into as a, as a chloride, as a soluble salt, it would have been a polonium salt of some, size, some sort, a soluble salt could have just been tipped into anything that he ate or, or onto anything. It would have been quite, quite tasteless at that quantity, so there would have been no way of telling. The Kremlin denies any involvement, and those who believe them say Mr. Litvinenko's death is being used to discredit Russia. We saw them standing in front of the hospital, actually. They, do, they did take advantage of that situation, and they did uh, uh, in the sense that they brought out their message and they attacked Putin and it was quite cunningly done in a sense because it was um, one of the people said there well we don't have any proof but and after the but suddenly he went on accusing basically the Kremlin of organizing that 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 murder so far police have not described Mr. Litvinenko's death as murder they do find polonium 210 that may change Ashish Joshi Sky News